Hi. Welcome to Kit Couple Review. Tonight we have a very special treat. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the UFO robot Grendizer. He is jumbo size, 60 centimeters or 24 inches. This scale puts him right in there with the original Shogun Warriors which were released in the early 70s late 70s. We're going to be starting off with the package as usual before we dig into this jewel. At the top here we've got 24 inch vinyl figure. Over here jumbo size 60 centimeters. We've got the beautiful Grandizer looking out at us. You can see how he's got some um, wrapping in there to keep him secure in the package. Down below we've got a beautifully rendered graphic illustration of Grendizer along with the pilot. Going down we've got UFO robot Grendizer. We've got some Japanese writing here. We've got a small sticker there. Another sticker there. Over here Gonagi Dynamic Planning. I'm going to take a look at the box. The bottom, 24 inch vinyl figure, UFO robot Grendizer. Panning up you can see the fist of Grendizer and it's really cool what they did. This image wraps around from the front to the side of the packaging. Continuing up we've got some writing here again in Japanese. Over here we've got a nice um, black and white picture of Grendizer's face split down the center. Moving on to the back we've got HL Pro. Again we've got UFO Robot Grendizer jumbo size 60 centimeters. Again we've got a beautifully rendered drawing of Grandizer in all his glory just standing defiant looking just amazing. Panning down again 24 inch vinyl figure UFO robot Grandizer. We've got some writing on the package here which I will be reading to you for this kit couple review. Uh, UFO robot Grandizer Grandizer is a robot created by the manga creator Gonagi during the 70s. Creator of many successful series, Gonagi is best known for his work on a saga of Super Robot, including Mazinger Z, Getter Robot, Great Mazinger, Kutitsu Jig. UFO Robot Grandizer was renamed Goldrake in France and Goldrake in Italy with a first appearance on the French TV channel Antenne 2 during the summer of 1978. Famous in Italy, Quebec and various Middle East countries, kids, now adults, parents are introducing to today's boys and girls the adventures of the main hero Duke Fled Akaras and his friends in their exciting adventures to protect our planet and its natural treasures with the help of the great robot, the UFO robot Grendizer. Down here we've got Gonagi Dynamic Planning, Distributors, we've got HL Pro produced by HL Product, down here, I believe these are the makers, High Dream, uh, credit where credit's due, artwork by Kenny Kenji D'Ambroso, hope I didn't butcher that too much, your artwork is fantastic. Uh, moving on to the other side of the package, again we've got the 24 inch vinyl figure repeated. Moving up, we've got the same illustration as the other side with the Japanese writing on the left side this time and we've got the face of Grandizer here and what's really neat is if you turn the box at an angle 
you can see the face in black and white and color very very nice what they've done a sickle weapon here which would detach and come off of his shoulders I'm going to spin around to the front take a look at Grandizer in the package you can see they've gone ahead and packaged him in nice and tightly bound him in so he won't get de uh, damaged or scratched okay that's enough of me talking about the box which you all love <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open and we're gonna take a look at the giant 24 inch vinyl figure UFO robot Grendizer I'll be right back okay I've opened up UFO Grendizer as you can see this is a beautiful design I love this design uh, we're going to be taking a look at the articulation. Unfortunately, Grandizer does not have a lot of articulation. We've sacrificed articulation for a beautiful figure and, and great design sculpt. Uh, let's get into it here. We're going to start with the head as usual, top to bottom. Your head can rotate 360. We've got an articulation at the shoulder which can go 360. We've got our articulation at the forearm, which again will go 360. We've got a fist articulation, which will go 360. We have no articulation in the abdomen. We have articulation from the legs However, it is a confined articulation in that you can just rotate 360 each leg. However, it, it does not um, lend itself to actual articulation. It is more confined articulation. Unfortunately, as well, mine had a slight paint flaw right here. However, I will be color correcting that with red paint as here at Cook Couple Review we have tons and tons of paint as you know from watching our model reviews. Uh, this is a fantastic figure. I was very happy to finally get it for my giant robot collection. He looks great standing side by side with my original Shogun Warriors. However, the question is do I consider this a Shogun Warrior it does have some of the features of Shogun Warriors in that it is 24 inches tall we've got the static pose however it does not have the wheels on the feet typical of Shogun Warriors we also are lacking a decal on the front torso of the figure typical of Shogun Warriors as well it has no firing projectiles no missiles no rocket punch fist flying fist it is also made of vinyl not polyurethane as most Shogun Warriors are however I still love this figure and if you ask me the only real true Shogun Warriors were designed in the 70s Still a great figure. I'm very happy to have purchased it. And I definitely recommend this to you if you're like me and you love giant robots. So this has been a Kick Couple Review production. Any questions or comments, as usual, we'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe to our channel. Let us know what you think. And we'll talk to you on the next review. Thank you. Bye.